How you doing plant fam? Kojo here. Tonight we're gonna look at nine gorgeous white leaf house plants and you all know I got that tropical tea. So we'll get into some of those nasty scams too. <laughs> Those videos are my absolute favorite because I love it when you tell me what you got, what you want, what you think maybe was a reach or didn't make the list that should. So let me know down in the comments. And here we go. Number one on the list gives you that large, perfect, almost pure white leaf. Caladium Florida Moonlight. I love that these leaves are so large, but yet they're still wispy. There's also a white queen. This gets pink, purplish veining instead of the slight green that the Florida Moonlight gets. I went with an allocation that gives you a little something extra, and honestly, it's probably just because it's a total unicorn wish list plant for me, and just working it into the list. Stained glass allocation, it's expensive, it's rare, it's unstable variegation, and the pups or the offshoots of the plant don't have variegation either. But, I mean, honestly, when you look like that, that's just really all you need. Number three is my absolute favorite plant on the list and just all of the things for me. Brazilian Edelweiss. This white succulent to me looks like a cross between a Muppet and a plant. I feel like if you turn it around, it's just gonna have googly eyes right there. This one is just all about the texture. I thought it was so unique looking and it's my first featured succulent. So it's gotta be my favorite tonight. Next, Philodendron Strawberry Shake. This one is booming right now, y'all. It's the variegated red emerald variety, and coloring can go from pure white to cream, pink, deep red. It is so expensive and sought after right now. It can get sectoral or mottled coloring, and I just love it. God, I could go for a strawberry shake. On to Chinese Evergreen Super White. I chose this variety because it has the whitest white leaves and Honestly, there are so many varieties and colors of Chinese evergreens. They make a great choice to add some bold colors to your collection. Number six is a Calathea. I chose Royal Standard because this variety gives such a large section of white coloring and I love that dinner plate edging of green. Next, it's begonia time. I chose begonia, Shadow King White. This has such a bright white coloring to it, but there are many varieties of Shadow King that give silvery white tones. I would definitely check out that series of begonias, but begonias are just like Chinese evergreens, y'all. They give so many colors and varieties. You could pretty much find exactly what you want or something that you didn't even know you wanted, but you need. Number eight on the list is also our first scam, and she's sitting right here. Philodendron Florida Ghost. All right, y'all, I'm here with Ghosty. As you can see, new leaves emerge a really white, creamy color. They start to yellow, and then they'll start to harden up to a green color, and it's very mottled, which some people will start to say, Florida Ghost Mint. That's where they get the mint from. And that's what the Florida Ghost does. That's how it hardens up its coloring. And you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six leaves that are not green. It takes a while for those to harden up. So be very careful. I would buy a minted ghost if it was the same price as the normal ghosts because that's exactly what it is. It's just a ghost that's been left out in the dark too long. They're gonna emerge more green, more sectoral. If they're not in really good lighting, they just are. So if you want a minted ghost, just buy a normal ghost and don't put it in the brightest of bright light. All right, our last plant on the list and our second scam of the night is Monstera Elbow. Y'all, this will be sold as seeds, no seeds. This will be sold as this right here, which I just don't even like saying that. I just don't like that. But that is not true either. Pure white leaves will completely die off. I honestly saw this at like a reputable seller. I don't know what's going on, y'all. If the stem has like really great variegation in it, sure, I can't see any of that. I'm like so disappointed in this seller, you guys. This is a really big seller. Don't buy elbow, don't buy completely white leaves. There's no half moon Monstera, okay? No half moon. That's a Monstera elbow. It can have sectoral coloring of white. It can have mottled coloring of white. It's really random, the coloring on them. 
you want to make sure you have a really good node, a really good variegation in that stem of green and white. And I would honestly just go for an established plant if you're going to buy one. I would save up the money, go for an established plant. If you saved all of your stimulus checks, you probably could get one. They are starting to go down slightly from last year, I saw. A couple hundred dollars, but down a little bit. Y'all be very careful when you're buying these. I would make them send you pictures of all the things. Send a picture with a newspaper with the date on it, which I think is actually kind of a brilliant idea because I see the same photo going around on some Etsy pages, etc., of actual plant being sold, and it's not that plant. Good luck out there. I do have a buyer beware that didn't make the list. I don't own this plant. I don't know a lot about it, but I have seen diseased plants. I have seen chemically treated plants being sold as Monstera adiasonii variegated. This is definitely a buyer beware. Do your research and know your sellers and try to contact people who have bought from those sellers before too if you possibly can. Buyer beware. Y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.